Hello everyone, I'm Greatlook, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 50... what? 3? 53 years of Crestorio. So, we're working on scaling up our rocket fuel production, because we need a lot more of it for these utility tech cards. And according to my calculations, we needed one of these per second, which would be in 30 machines. And one of them per second will allow four of these to run every 20 seconds, which would make one per second of this. Yeah, so that is correct. So we need to scale this up. 30 machines. I guess we should. Oh, it's old yellow build. Let's get rid of that. Oh, that's not even what I want here. So we just need this stuff and the iron. Okay. Now we have a limit on Let's get rid of these and these and hope that we have enough space. We don't, but spoiler. So this is how many? Twenty. Good. I guess robots will bring the rest. Nope, they will not. Well, some of it they will, but... So... I guess we just underground a lot of this stuff. Problem is that we still can't go further down than our fluid bus. So I guess it was stupid of me to put the fluid bus down here instead of oh, at the actual bus. I think I turned that or made this the wrong way around. Yes. That's why I didn't remove this. So how much can we do here? Let's see if we can get another 5 in at least. We can. We could also get a 6 in. So okay, let's... Memorize this and know that it's stupid to have the fluid bus away from your main bus, because it will prevent you from building too far out. Even if we put it twice as far away, then there could still be something that we wanted to scale up further. Now, of course, we can just do this in two steps, I guess. could just make some more over here if we want to. And I guess that would work for now. It's not pretty, but... Let's do it, I think. Why are robots not coming with any of these? Is this its own circuit? Yeah, in that network. And it is. Because reasons. Now some robots should bring these machines, at least if I automated them.
So we would need five, right? Let's just move this a bit, and then we can actually have our inserters here where we want them. Let's try and put symmetry into the colors at least, even if we're not inserting from the same belts. Is it okay to insert onto both sides of this? Yes, it is. need the oxygen and chlorine. Hydrogen chloride, I guess it's called. Yeah. Good. Our rocket silo research is done. Is there something else we can we want researched? Otherwise we'll just start to take these things that will actually disappear from the research area. We need the oxygen and hydrogen chloride. Let's get that. Good. Can we get the oxygen right here? Not really. I guess we'll just do it like this then, even if it's not pretty. Oh, like so. So now we should be producing 30 of these percent. Yeah, it says 30 machines. Oh, not 30 of these percent, sorry, one of these percent. So rocket fuel is a very slow recipe in this. Good to know. And requires a lot of stuff if you don't just use your light oil for it at least. Good. So these should all be working now full time. Except that these are still... No, they are both one crafting speed. So that should be for perfect. I guess we should get this out of the way as well. Okay, so once upon a time we started Coverix enrichment up here. Oh, we were waiting for enough uranium 235. We only have 30 and we need 50. Okay. What do we get from the fuel reprocessing? Only uranium 238, okay. That's too bad. So we still need another 20. No, it is working actually. So it is. We have some leftover, so we can actually go up there and. Well, we still need another 20 before we can start another machine, I guess, so. So it's running now with 50 in the current recipe. And we have another 30, I believe. Thirty-two actually. Okay. That is actually quite nice. But 
but we need another 18. So let's spend some more time here on the bus. Do we want to make a better red circuit setup? And of course the reason I'm trying to make everything better is because I want to stick with the bus as far as possible instead of just going to robot production because that's what I always do. Is this supposed to be a full red belt of red circuits? Forty-eight machines, and one third of those are copper cable machines. So that is what sixteen copper cable and thirty-two circuits. Divided by four seconds per craft is eight seconds circuits per second, I believe. Unless I'm... oh, we're getting two per craft, so it's 16 circuits per second, which is a yellow belt, but only half a red belt. So we should probably make something that can produce a full red belt of this stuff. Whoops. That would be nice, at least. And I guess we'll just do the same thing as with the green circuits. Putting them on, them on both sides of the belt. Because honestly, this looks nice. This looks nice as well. This doesn't really... Maybe it's just because of a lack of symmetry, but... This actually looks pretty nice as well, even though it's not symmetrical. I guess it's just that this is so dang long and not very wide. Do we want to make red circuits now? I mean, I guess, why not? So for red circuits, we actually need a full red, a full belt of green circuits, which we are making right here. Okay, what else? A full belt of electronic components. And a full belt of cover. Electronic components I don't think we have enough of. So we probably need to scale those up. Hmm. Okie dokie. Let's start with electronic components, I guess. Should we make specific production for electronic circuit and electronic components for the red circuits? So not put them on the bus, but just build them over to the red circuit production? That would ensure full red circuit production at all times, but then we couldn't utilize, utilize the green circuits and electronic components for anything else when we're backed up on red circuits. Hmm. With one belt it's just... If we are making the red belts after this junction, then we can't pretty much ever get a full belt of the green circuits, so that would suck a bit. Let's make dedicated production for it, I think. Let's start with the electronic components. So these things. Oh, let's start a new research first. And of course, when we get blue belts, things like these are easy to just add. Another 50% and then you have a blue belt. As long as you also operate the inputs and the outputs. So that is what we're aiming for, for just about everything. So, electronic components. Let's do some math. 
we output five electronic components for every recipe craft. So we need six crafts per second, which requires 12 glass per second, three silicon per second, and no, not three silicon per second, sorry, 18 silicon per second, and 12 plastic per second. And do we have enough glass on the bus for this? Well, at least this is scalable. Oh yeah, I forget. I'm totally forgetting that we actually have near handed inserters. So we can just set our inserters to output to the near side, but honestly I still think I prefer to insert from both sides instead. How much glass is this making? 5 glass every 15 seconds, that's 1 glass every 3 seconds. With 20, that's 20 glass every 3 seconds, so that's something like 6.6 .6 glass per second. That's not enough at all for what we want. But I think we need more stone for what we want. If we assume that we have a full belt of stone. Three sand for one glass. So that is one and a half stone for one glass. We get two and a half sand per stone. Yeah, so we need a bit more than one stone per glass, right? So it's hard to actually make a full build. Unless you can productivity something in these. You can with this. A productivity bonus of 16. That's probably enough actually, but that's very slow though, so I don't think we want to do that. Should we produce, set up another glass production area? I think that's a good idea. So let's start with that. Crushers. So how fast is this recipe? Three stone every second. So with ten of them we use a full build. So five from both sides of the belt should take a full belt of sand, oh, stone and turn it into almost a full belt of glass. At least if we can get enough furnaces in for that. So glass. What is the speed from these? Crafting speed one, okay. Good. Glass takes three every Second. Wait. Yeah, yeah, three every second. And this produces seven and a half every second. So with a crafting speed of two. This would be 6 every second, and that would be 12 every second, is that correct? Do we only need two furnaces? I guess we used stone furnaces before, where we used four of them, so two of these should be enough, yeah. Glass. Don't do that. 
Do we want to pair them up two and two like this, or do we want these to be in the middle? We can't put them in the middle, so I think we want to pair them up. Then this is the middle of something at least. So something like this, right? Just wondering if we did the math on the sand correctly. Three sand per second with ten machines that it is full build, yeah. I think this is fine. We need to output the glass of course. We make five every 7.5 seconds so this is plenty of inserters for that. And I guess this is it then. And then we just take this. Because then we are ready to scale up to blue belts if we want to. No, that's not right. That's better. Good. And these are almost copy pastable to the other side. Except for power poles and this belt. And something else that I didn't think about. That we have the stray extra crush up here. So I guess this would be okay to rotate. Put that up there, put a power pole there, and turn this belt around. And then we should have everything right, except for these power poles that we want to move up, because I'm annoying like that. Good. Should we use the spaghetti space? Is this actually nine spaces? Nice. So bring in one belt of stone or bring in two belts? That's the question. I think we still prefer to bring in two. Especially when they're this far apart, it doesn't look too bad then. And it seems like we need to extend the path so we can actually... Oh, it actually is here, it's just under the coal, but let's extend this a bit. Whoops. Actually, do we have the... There was a tool to remove concrete, do we have that? Nope, let's try it. I guess it's just like the biomass, you just do that. Yeah, okay. Not sure if that's worth the one space in inventory, but in some cases it might be. But for now I think we should just get rid of it. Same with the creep collector, I guess. Oh, we have some exoskeletons for faster speeds. Nice. Did we have anything else we wanted to put in here? Don't think so. Mm. 
we're fine. Let's get some stone in here. Output. Oh, we need fuel. I'm forgetting all about that. Are we using coke for the fuel up here? We are indeed, it seems. Oh, is that cool? That is cook. Guess that's just because it has more fuel value. So what do we do here? We should probably stop these. Uh, what the heck do we do to make this pretty? We could bring in coal like this and then move the crushers out one space. Or we could bring coal like this and move everything out one space. Or one tile. What would we prefer? I have no idea. I think it would be nice to try something like these. We don't do that a lot. So why don't we go for that? Remove this for now. No, cut, please. And then move the, this even further. Oh, that's still off. Never mind about that. Well, if we do this. We need to input the coke and the the stone or sand. So we will need this, which means that our power poles can't connect anymore, which is a bit annoying. Could just place them at the top and at the bottom. And I still can. That looks okay in my eyes. This can still run, of course. Let's copy this. And yeah, we just remove these again. this out one time. Guess this was powered by this before. Oh, move that in. Like so. Move the coke build up. And then we just need to bring in two lines of coke and move this stone line. So stone now needs to be here. this to be even tighter when we do this. I guess why not? And bring the stone all the way up. Are these set correctly? It seems so. Okay. 
Paris and not the... Good. Let's bring coke up. Oh, where? We have a fighter, people. Where did you come from? Oh, we're actually starting to spread our pollution quite a bit. Should we set out some pollution purifiers? I think we should. Should we finish this first? We probably should though, so let's do that. Coke, is this one right? Yeah. Where do we want it? Here. Good, and we need another line over here. No, that's not right. There. And we have coke for the other side. And that should give us a full build of glass. Unless my calculations were totally off. Which wouldn't be the first time. And there's our glass. We are out of underground builds. How come no one is bringing new ones to us? Input priority from our new production. Is it just me? Is this not a full build? That is not a full build at all. What did I do wrong? So this makes 5 glass every 15 seconds, that's 1 glass every 3 seconds. But with a crafting speed of 2, that's 2 glass every 3 seconds. We have how many? 20. So that is 40 glass every 2 seconds, that's only 20 glass per second. No, what? Two glass every three seconds. Forty glass every three seconds. We need what? Ninety glass every three seconds, I believe. Oh well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.